Hello everyone and welcome back to another Yu-Gi-Oh! testing. Today I got a deck, an old classic, a deck that was first released at the beginning of Link format. I hope that gives you an idea of what we're playing today, so let's check out the deck. If you guessed Trick Stars, you would be correct. But more important, this is Spanko YGO's Trick Star deck. Check the uh, description for a link to his video where he explains his card choices, as well as in the little info card that should be appearing. But anyways, Trickstar was one of the first beginning decks that began the Link era format. I can still remember when this deck first came out, I picked it up uh, relatively after uh, the deck had come out and all of that. I'm not exactly 100% sure where and I picked up this deck, but I can still remember it. I can remember when it the Sky Striker cards first came out and joined with this deck. We may have to try that again, uh, Tr Sky Striker Trickstar once again in 2023. Now, do I think Strict Stars in 2023 are good? Probably not. I mean, it, we're in the Cash Trio format, we're we're in like the Gold Pride Punk format, we're, we're in a very interesting format right now, and I'm not sure if Trickstar is going to be taking any big names and any big tournaments. But I could still remember this deck. Man, takes me back. But anyways, if you want to know, uh, Simo and his progression series with MBT actually are in the first set that released for, of course, the Link Air format. So he was playing some Trick Stars. So I decided, you know what? I'm going to play some Trick Stars. So let's go by the card by card. We have three Candina. If you don't know, uh, the trick stars, I'll break them down for you. Um, and Candina can add you any trick star card from your deck, and then each time your opponent activates a spell or trap card effect, inflict 200 points of damage immediately after it resolves. Three, Licorice. Licorice can target any um, trick star monster on the field and bounce it back to your hand. By the way, you can chain multiple Licorices to a single trick star target. So you can chain two Licorice to one Candina. This That was the old combo back in the day. But then, um, if your opponent draws a card, but anytime your opponent draws a card, you can inflict 200 points of damage to them. Lily Bell can special itself from the hand when it's added to the hand. So basically, you can add it with Candina and they'll immediately special summon itself. It can also attack directly. And then you can target one Trick Star monster in your graveyard and add your hand if it deals battle damage. So you basically get your Licorice back, Licorice, target Lily Bell to add Lily Bell back to your hand. And then you can normal summon it because it is a level two. We have the one Trickstar Korobane. Uh, it can special summon itself to the field, but it's also just an honest for Trickstars. We have the three Kashtira Fenrir. By now, everyone should know what Kashtira Fenrir does. We, of course, have Dogmata Ecclesia. We have a Dogmatica Further Lease, Triple Ash, Triple Ghost, and Triple Drone Lockbird, so we could do the annoying Trickstar Reincarnation Drone Lockbird combo. Yeah, that, that was the fun day of the world. But, anyways, yeah, if you've never seen the combo, it's very, very annoying because what you would do is you have double reincarnation. You go reincarnation one, then you would go drone lockbird, and then reincarnation number two. So basically, it, it, there's a very weird timing essence. So basically, after you after they draw off their first reincarnation, you drone lockbird them, and then you go reincarnation number two, and then they just lose their entire hand and can't draw a new one because of drone lockbird. Uh, also, this was when I was playing this maxi was also legal at this time period too. <laughs> kind of crazy. But anyways, for spells, we have three Nadir Servant. We got the triple light stage. Light stage, basically, you can add one Trickstar monster to your hand. So basically any one of the parts you need. Then you can target one set card your opponent controls in their spell and trap card zone. It, it basically locks it. So if they don't activate it now, it basically locks it. So it forces an activation out of it. And also, um, it will burn your opponent when a Trickstar monster effect is activated. We have the one Terraforming to search it out, but we also have Candina to search it out. We have the one of Called by the Grave. Uh, Spanko YGO does play three pod Prosperity, but I decided just to play two. We have the Triple Reincarnation. Again, if you don't know what this card is, it just bans your entire opponent's hand and they just draw a new one. And then you lock them with Draw and Lock Bird and activate a second one so that they can't draw a hand. We got the Double Punishment and the Triple um, Imperm. For the extra deck, we have uh, Exaton, a Babuska, Esbest Dweller, Double Zeus, Double Garu. We'll be probably sending this off the punishment because, uh, again, we can't fuse this. We don't have a fusion target. 
uh, double Nintes again, another punishment target. We got a Phoenix, we got a Unicorn, we got a Lina, we got the IP, we got the Selene, and we do have the Axis Code Talker again to go off the Selene. For the side, we have a Harpy Fast Duster, a Lightning Storm, Mind Control, Change of Heart, a single copy of a Spear Mode, Triple Gamma Seal, Triple D Shifter, and Triple Dimensional Barrier. Again, Kashtira is still top deck, and Kashtira does like to play with their XYZ monsters. Hard to believe that in a Link Era heavy format, that we're still playing with XYZ monsters. Uh, but anyways, his extra deck... Uh, his side deck, Spanko's White Geo's side deck, does include Triple Lightning Storm, so it is before the current ban list. So that's why I have the one random raw spear mode. So, anyways, let's see how well Trickstar does in 2023. Let's get into the game. All right, so here we are, folks. So we're looking to go first, so we can do some setup here. So let's shoot some rock. Let's go some paper. Okay, let's go the rock. We got it. We're going first. Okay, that's not horrible. We can go Fenrir here. We can target to always make sure we have another Fenrir in our hand at all times. We can normal summon Candina. Candina effect to get our hands on light stage as much as I don't want to be getting my hands on a light stage this way. Light stage, we'll trigger light stage. We'll get ourselves Licorice. We'll go Nadir Servant here. We'll get our hand, we'll send a Garu to get our hands on Ecclesia. Trigger Garu. Draw the draw another light stage. I do not believe that light stage was a is a uh ha. Yeah, I thought light stage wasn't a hard once per turn effect. <laughs> Talk about it. Alright, well, anyways, we're just going to trigger target. Trigger target, because that's completely legal for some odd reason. And again, the Deer Servant, we can't summon anything out of our extra deck after we utilize it, so we are, um, I think we're done for the turn. We'll be burning. Now, it's not great here, but I mean, we do have a Ghost Ogre. If May, if our opponent decides to keep adding cards to his hand, he just keeps getting burned here. Or our opponent's just going to set a face down card. Or another face down card. Just going to set down all the face down cards. A pot of prosperity, huh? What's he going to be fighting off the top? I mean, I take half point damage now. Oh, I know what we're playing now, kids. There's a raw spear mode in there, too. Ew! That's gross. That is seriously gross. He has a freaking raw spear mode he can get. Hey, he can take it if he wants it. <laughs> and we'll see what else he saw. I think I saw two raw spear modes. The deck... One of the Devastator virus... One of the virus cards. I think I saw one of the... Um, Lab monsters, yeah, there's a Labyrinth monster. I mean, he does get a burn here again. Ah, the fun. The fun of all the burning. Um, Nah, it's not worth blowing this one up. Yeah, it, it sets him, but that's all it does. Anyways, Labyrinth Cuckoo Clock just went to the graveyard. Anyways, got the big welcome Labyrinth, but again, um, activate effect. Uh, let's get Banisher off the field. He's going to trigger big welcome Labyrinth. All right. The big welcome has come. The big, the dummy mommy has appeared. Man's going to burn himself to half to death. We will uh, murder that one off. Now, it doesn't stop the effect from resolving, but it does remove the monster from the field, so.
Why didn't that change himself? Oh, he destroyed. Oh, come on, my man. You blew up my... You One random card and you killed the cadet. He had another. Oh, man, he has the... The, the other mommy in his hand. All right. Man, talk about one random card, and he, he he blows the one random card I don't want up. It's hilarious. Uh, well, here comes Welcome Labyrinth. I hope he knows I'm just going to banish this. Yeah, Chainlink 2. I think it's going to spin itself back to his hand. Funny enough, you can Zeus this whole board. I can even exit on it. Oh, I think I have too many cards in hand. Anyways, he set the virus card, but it ain't gonna be, uh... Yeah, that was off the, the lady. So there's the virus card. Yeah, trigger. Oh, I can only banish that one. Oh, right, it's unaffected. Yeah, why you can... Well, you control a set card, you basically don't have to worry about it. But anyways, we got another big welcome to the de to the field. Another dummy mommy! God, just gonna burn himself up to death for me. Ah, uh, okay. Another uh, welcome labyrinth again. Just more burn damage there. Effect. Alright, well the clay's is gone. Um That's the only other trap card he has yet to set. A skill drain, alright. Fun. Interactive gameplay, people. Send an in to us. Uh, grab Fair de Lay. Activate in to us. Hop it. Yeah, they ain't gonna be on the field. That's for sure. Um, activate effect. Get another fin rear to the hands. Um, how do I how do I win this? There is no monster in my um, thing. Let's see. During your main phase, your opponent's battle phase, your opponent has total cards in their hand or field than you do. I have more cards than he does, that's for sure. Um, even with Exiton. Oh, I, I can't go into my extra deck, right? Uh, well, no, I can. During your main phase, put some of this monster from your extra deck. During the main phase, if a monster was special summoned from the extra deck, so I mean, I mean, he still has a chance to do it. Lily Bell, battle phase, hope for a hole, 800 points of damage. Activate Lily Bell effect, add the Candina back to hand, and go to. All right, well, um, I win! Yay for me! All right. Game two, folks. Um, so he's gonna be going first. Wow, I wish I had Imperial Order in here. Um, that would be just fun. Okay, well, he's gonna be going first, so let's put in all of our back row hates. Um, and Drone Lockbird really doesn't make sense in this deck, so we're gonna take out the Drone Lockbird and put in our back row hates. Um, is it worth playing this in the deck? D shifter he doesn't summon enough guys to make a spear mode worth it he might one fin rear for a spear mode let's just put it in for the giggles we'll finish yeah imperial order would have been really nice uh here no um yeah it's an imperial order or is that the one that blocks traps i'm just looking for the one that um stops all um Trap effects. I know Imperial Iron Wall says no banishing, which funny enough you can't do on Pot of Extrav. 
All right, well, anyways, we got the Heavenly Lords out there. That's nice. So this whole back row, I just, you know, took is absolutely useless against why the Heavenly Lord is up on the... Why the Heavenly Lord is pointing his ugly face at me. The funnier part is if he activates now. I mean, the question is, does he believe I have back row removal? Okay, so I think he believes I have it. Fact activate. We're gonna go get the light stage. It's going to ash it. Ah, nothing I could do about that. Guess we'll go battle. Gozen match. We can only control a singular type. Ah. Uh, one attribute of monster, sir. All my stuff is light! At least all my Trickstar stuff is light. Sure, activate a card. Get burned. Fascinating. And now he get, does get the set. The more hilarious part is that it only protects back row until he's out of the hand. So I could, well, no, this isn't, so basically I could still run into this. Um, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna still go to battle. Well, he's locked himself to darks, but it doesn't really matter. His whole deck's dark. Probably thinking, what are you doing, son? Attacking my monster like that? Yeah, I have my reasons. Again, this is not damage step, so bada boom bada bang. Die. Then activate effect. Nice virus card there, sir. I hope you have a target for it. Ah yes. Well, let's see if he's got anything. I'm gonna swing in. No, alright. Uh, main phase two. Yeah, it's hilarious when you forget my whole entire archetype is light. Alright, I'll set one. And the turn. I bet he wasn't expecting the, uh, Coral Bane. <laughs> Honest ability. Ah. Uh, Big welcome labyrinth. All right, he's gonna add that to hand. I'm just gonna banish whatever he draws next into. Yeah, let's banish all three of those. I know what one of your cards is. Get them out, let's draw three more. All right, yeah, we can uh, use this to special summon it. I don't have a desire right now to special summon that trick star monster. Why would I even want to special summon it? It's an honest. That's always recyclable, by the way, by because of uh, Lily Bell. I right, drew another one. And he's taking another burn here. Ah, the full force virus itself. Anyways, this is a uh, Turby 1 Dark Monster with 200, 200, 2,000 or more defense. Look at your opponent's hand. All monsters they control and all cards they draw until... Oh my god! They're all gone! Yeah, that sucks. But now he knows I have Lightning Storm too. All my stuff's going to the graveyard. <laughs> Alright, well, anyways, he just gets now the new cast my board. Um. No. 
Lucky enough, I could banish the, uh, the trap. Summon a Candina. Candina effect. Effect. Because it's by draw, not by add. So, yeah. So, go right ahead and do everything you want, son. Uh, it's by draw, not by add. Oh my gosh, of course. Oh, it's with normal summon? That's, that's dumb. Uh, this sucks. Of course, of course, the virus card. Yeah. No, no replays happening. We're just surrendering this one, folks. I can't get out of that. All right, well, let's see how well we do in a game number three. All right, so what do we want to do? Um, again, I really, really wish I had... Um, I'm going to put my D shifters in here now. Out of the sanctity of removing all of his trap cards. Uh, all right, I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to keep the raw spear mode just in case we need it. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, I mean, that isn't horrible. Really wish I had the draw, though. That would have made this way more better. Summon. Activate. Let's see the ash. No ash. Get the light stage. Trigger the light stage. Activate light stage. Get a lick. You'll chain activation of lickers. Target. Don't have the double lick though, but mm, oh well. Add the hand. Set one. Set two. Set three. We're gonna go to end phase. All right, well, anyways, he's going to be adding here. Or no, he sets the uh, the lab card, but it doesn't really matter. I ha I'll be ashing the lab card. Um, draw four new cards, sir. All right, well, that's pretty nice. I got rid of one of the viruses. It's also nice I don't have to worry about the heavenly lord. We're going to go that on that. No, sir, you don't get to activate your effects. Promise that's bigger than my monster. Well, I mean, uh, yeah, we're gonna trigger an end test here. Target, or punishment, I guess just to say target, target. Nint test. Oh, right, yeah, Garu doesn't have a, enough attack. All right, well, that just leaves him with one Welcome Labyrinth. Yeah, then we're going to ash it. And no, sir! No welcome today! I don't want to play your games. <laughs> of course, we draw the D shifter when we don't need it. Activate target. All right, well, that locks that entire zone down for the entire turn. Mini can't even activate it. Uh, target for effect. What do we want? Uh, yeah, let's go another Licorice. Switch with the battle phase. Swing it for 16. Give an extra 200 in there as well. Activate effect. Target. Summon. Punch. Main phase two. Well, sir, uh, you're practically dead now, so... Feel free to burn yourself. Alright, oh, I forgot. At the end of the turn, if the... 
the person doesn't use the card, they uh, it immediately goes to the end of the field. And we won! Yes, 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 yes. So, is Trickstar viable in 2023? No, no. This deck is so fun, though. I, I, I love the Trickstar monsters. I think the gimmick of the burn is just so much fun. Um, the gimmick of Licorice being able to target like one Candina and summon out two Licorice is fun. I mean, the Fenrir is nice. The Dogmatica cards, if we ever pull them off, are nice. But yeah, I still think it's a pretty fun deck. Um, we may have to try out the Sky Striker version of it, where we combine, of course, the Trickstar monsters with Sky Striker. Now the Sky Striker has a lot more playability in it. Uh, the one problem with that deck, though, is that um, if you don't know, the Trickstar monsters do conflict with the Sky Striker spell cards, but it's not impossible to get around that. But they do conflict. I think there's also a weird aspect of playing Runic Trickstar, and I may have to try that as well. So there's a couple of things I might do with the Trickstar engine. So anyways... If you enjoyed the video, do make sure to like, do make sure to subscribe, and do make sure to, of course, click the bell so you get notified when my videos go live for you. And comment, do you like Trickstar? Did you play Trickstar? Did you ever play against Trickstar? What version of Trickstar did you play against? Did you play against Pure? Did you play against the, the uh, Sky Striker version of Trickstar? What'd you play against? Do you think a runic Trickstar build would be pretty cool to check out? Let me know down all in the comments while you're subscribing, ringing the bell, and clicking the like button. Until next time, we'll see you here on Mama Dragons TCG.